boxers, we have to train hard. Train hard, train hard. And if you train hard, the fight is easy. That's what I believe. I can remember my life when I was young. We were nothing. I mean, sometimes we, we eat, sometimes we don't have food to eat. So that's our life before. We don't have our own house, we don't have land, uh, we don't have even food, we just, you know, uh, we have to work every day to, to make money to buy food for the family. So even we're, we're too young to, to work, but we have to work. Like sealing donuts, sealing pandesal, sealing uh, flowers, just to earn money to buy food. I told Uncle, Uncle, if I'm, I'm going to be a boxer, I'm, I'm going to be like them. And then uh, my uncle pushed me how to, uh, teach me how to box. When he was 15, without his parents' permission or even their knowledge, he moved to Manila, the Philippine capital, at the behest of a local promoter. A year later, he was fighting as a pro and winning, even though legally he was too young to enter the ring. Somebody told me, oh, you cannot fight. Why? You have to be 18 years old. I just cheated my, my age. I was 16 years old. Soon after, we rode again. This time, even bigger news. Ma, thanks be to God, somebody took me in as a boxer and I'm training and fighting again. I'm in a boxing show on TV. It's called Blow by Blow. He was going to call me long distance. When I finally got to talk to him, he excitedly said, Ma, watch my fight on TV tomorrow. Three weeks and uh, no loss. Hindi pa ko siya natatalo. Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao. On the attack. Wah! Pacquiao on the attack na, na solid po niya kanina si uh, Desierto. Desierto also fighting back. And but Desierto now aiming at the midsection of Pacquiao. Ayun, left. Dalawang sunod. Natamaan si Desierto, but he was able to come back. He is trying to come back. And again, a combination from Pacquiao. And he sends Desierto reading against the ropes. Desierto is back in a corner. He's That's trapped. Right. Desierto fighting out of the corner. Well, Pacquiao is using that right hand now as a measuring device, but he has been able to connect with his left. Yes. Desierto also connected that time with an uppercut. Maganda, fast and furious action from both these youngsters. And, and there's another more, left. Yes, to left to the face. jaw of Desierto. Yeah. All right, this time. The Shirto doesn't know how to take a punch. He doesn't uh, fall into his own opponent. He doesn't clinch. He doesn't cover up. Well, Pacquiao has been able to really pinpoint his target here in this round. The, the crowd egging on Pacquiao. Enjoying the action now. That's Pacquiao right. has been able to land that left repeatedly. Kasi bumababa yung kanan ng kamay ni ano eh, ni Desierto. Kanya, Maganda so far ang timing oh, ni Pacquiao. Oh, very, very well timed yung kanyang uh, kaliwa. Although Desierto that time connected with a nice right hand. Good, good fight between these two boxers. Maganda. Sabayan, palitan. Oh. Actually, may, may parang masamang bisyo ito si Pacquiao because he has a tendency to bring down his right arm. Pero ito si Desierto has not been able to take advantage of that. He should score with a left hook. Oy! Umatras, umayaw! Umayaw! Umayaw I never thought he'll get anywhere as a fighter. He was wild. He threw punches from all directions. No signs whatsoever. But he had power and he had guts. He had courage. And uh, that was the thing going for him. But I never, in my wildest dreams, thought he will get where he is today. I never forget that. First time I I came to um, Wildcard Gym and I met Freddy. Freddy was uh, young. He was young back then. So I says, well, you never know when the next Muhammad Ali is going to walk through your doors, right? So like, I'll get first choice if something good walks through those doors. So one day Manny Pacquiao walked through that door right there, and I was doing mitts with somebody else in the ring, and he asked me, he's like, hey, you're good in the mitts. Can we can we do some rounds? I said, yeah, sure. Leshinolo Ledwaba will be taking on Manny Pacquiao. And for more on that, let's go back downstairs to Jim Lampley. Jim?
All right, tail of the tape. Berlisanola Ladwaba against Manny Pacquiao. Uh, Pacquiao. I'll get it right. Pacquiao. In all great boxing tales, there's always one bout that changes the course of the story forever. A performance that ensures they'll learn the name and never forget the fighter. Pacquiao. Pacquiao. Say Pacquiao. 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 Yeah. June 23rd. 2001. It's my first time in America, so absolutely I'm an underdog. He took this fight on only two weeks' notice, only came here to America ten days ago. That's a TKO victory for the very impressive Manny Pacquiao. I had never seen him, and frankly, I'd never heard of him, but I've seen and heard of him now. After that fight, it changed a lot. Manny Pacquiao is the biggest punching 122-pound fighter to have come along in a while. Tail of the tape, Pacquiao with a 10-year age advantage over Jorge Eliezer Julio. Pacquiao an inch and a half taller. Julio with long arms and a one-inch reach advantage. Julio weighed in right on the 122-pound limit. Pacquiao unusually a pound and a half under. And tonight, Pacquiao unofficially weighs 129. Julio, 130. Rules for the bout with Bobby Chaz. This fight is going to be governed by the unified rules of the Association of Boxing Commissions. The scoring will be a 10-point must system. There will be no standing eight count and no three knockdown rule. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Only the referee can stop the fight. And in case of an accidental foul, we go to the scorecards after round number four. One of the very greatest of all modern trainers, Eliezer Julio, a part of the stable of uh, Ricardo okay. Maldonado, who sent many top fighters into the ring. Box. Oh, big left hand by Pacquiao. Pacquiao with a body shot after missing with the wild right hand. You can see what a big hitter Pacquiao wants to be. Throws every punch with aggressive intentions. Now round two begins. Another straight left hand by Pacquiao. And you heard Julio's corner saying, hit him in the belly. And down goes Julio. It was a perfect execution of what he was told in the corner. Well, jab and followed him with the left hand. Did it twice in a row, the second one dropped Julio. This is some prospect, Bobby. Two, to me, he's three, every bit as exciting as Prince four, Nassim Hamed. He really is. He can punch, six, he can take a punch, seven, he's aggressive, eight, and he complete. loves to fight. Julio trying to fight his way back. A little grabbing and holding might be the thing to do. Pacquiao's just getting ready to swing away again. And Bill Clancy's seen it up. Devastating second round TKO for Manny Pacquiao. What a comeback from the misfortune of San Francisco. Very, very impressive against a fighter who is not that easy to beat. It's not easy to dominate. That I can tell you. I think the most impressive thing was exactly what you pointed out. Freddy Roach calmly said, double jab, and then follow with the left hand. He did it. Did it in the first 10 seconds, hit him good, followed up with it, and dropped him, and that was the beginning of the end for Julio. This is for your family. The whole world, I have work with 17 world champions and all so far. I think Mr. Fudge has like 23, 24, and I'm, I'm chasing him. <laughs> Freddie's latest charge, Manny Pacquiao, is a fighter with whom he shares a playful bond. He's uh, looking for my, um, my future, you know, good future, not bad. <laughs> this kid is so fun to work with, everything he does is 100%. And that's the way fighters are supposed to be. I trust him, and I, he's like my father. He's like my kid to me. He's like my son. I mean, I love this kid. I don't talk to my fighters about my disease, and I don't think Manny even knows that I have Parkinson's, to be honest with you. It doesn't get in the way of my life or my training at all. Parkinson's is, is part of my life, but let's keep it at that. You know? We don't it's have a problem about that. <laughs> My doctors tell me, you know, someday it could affect me where I, I can't function as well as I do. And I said, well, until that day happens, I'm going to work my ass off. I'm not going to lie down and die. I'm a fighter, and I'll be a fighter till the end. I don't want anyone to feel sad for me, because I'm very happy. Antonio, Texas, a town of nearly 2 million people, part of the Alamo, the world champion San Antonio's first. Big time boxing.
Cornell Whitaker, Julio Cesar Chavez, James Breha, Azuma Nelson, Oscar De La Hoya. Big names have fought here tonight. Marco Antonio Barrera, 57 3. One no contest, 40 knockouts. Manny Pacquiao, 37 2 and 1. 28 knockouts. 12 rounds for featherweight supremacy in the world. What about the tension? What about him moving up? What about a southpaw power? Will that affect Barrera? All those questions will now be put on the table and answered on the course of this scheduled 12 round. It should be a dandy. And here we go. He knows that Barrera seems to be naturally a bigger fighter. That was a slip. Pacquiao is down, though. And he's good. They're calling him that down, so Pacquiao already in some deep trouble. So you were a star before this fight. What are you now? <laughs> uh, superstar ka na ba uh, Now I'm super to to the eyes of the uh, the people. But in myself, I don't want to to be uh, higher than before. I will I will still uh, before down. I will still down before. He, he means that he wanted to still be humble as he usually is. Thank you very much, Manny, for a great fight. Congratulations again. I'm going to take you back now to Manny's biggest night. When the idea first originated to match the one-time flyweight Pacquiao against Oscar De La Hoya, a much taller fighter who twice fought for middleweight titles, veteran ringsiders scoffed. At that moment, Pacquiao hadn't yet appeared above 130, and De La Hoya wasn't far removed from having actually captured one of the scorecards in a split decision loss to the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in boxing, Floyd Mayweather Jr. But by the night of December 6, 2008, circumstances had radically changed. Mayweather was retired. Pacquiao had claimed the top pound-for-pound -pound ranking and the lightweight championship at 135 pounds against David Diaz. And Pacquiao's trainer, Freddie Roach, had talked quite a few ringsiders into his belief that Manny Pacquiao was simply going to be too quick and too aggressive for an aging golden boy. I call this a dream fight. A good dream, a bad dream, an exciting dream. Let's find out. But he's getting beaten up here. This could be the end of the fight. We're going to stop it. Better we stop it. That's, it's our decision, Oscar. It's a decision that we have to take. There's no reason to continue with this. He's too fast. Are you okay? Are you with that? You agree? Yes. 
One more round, or is that it? Yeah. Is that it? Right now, we are here to corner. It's one to stop the fight. Is that it? Yeah. That's it. Let's, let's finish it. That's it. Let's go. Right it's done. Manny Pacquiao Oscar has beaten Oscar De Loya. And it was the right thing to do. This is the last thing of all the choices we expected to see in this fight, which was a one-sided fight for Manny Pacquiao. In 1937 and 1938, Henry Armstrong stunned the boxing world by winning the featherweight championship, going up 21 pounds to welterweight and winning the welterweight championship, coming back down 12 pounds to lightweight and winning the lightweight championship, ruling all three divisions at the same time, he even made a credible shot at trying to win the middleweight championship. This year, Manny Pacquiao won a brilliant battle at the summit of the 130-pound weight class against Juan Manuel Marquez. Moved up a few months later to 135, and Cherry picked a title belt against David Diaz, a fighter we all knew he was going to be. And then shocked Oscar De La Hoya in the welterweight division tonight, winning an easy technical knockout uh, victory. Is Manny Pacquiao, the Henry Armstrong of his generation, a fighter so good that the weight class hardly matters. I would say so, and this, you forgot he skipped 140 pound and just went straight to 147. When you look at today, I still see him as a good 130 pounder. So it really means that he's a big force, 130, 35, 40, and 47. And he still beat a very good fight. I was very impressed with him. And the fact that he boxed, he moved, he didn't just physically run in like I thought he would. He fought a very intelligent fight. Like, like I said before, I've been dominating the sport for I don't know how many years. And I had to ask you another question. What was Pacquiao in 97, 98, 99, 2000? 105 pounds. What, but what was his name at? Was he, was he rec this, I'm in a whole new era dominating fighters. That's right, fighters. and he's a whole new fighter, Floyd. A whole new fighter? Oh, yeah. And, 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 so, and, 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 and when I beat him, what they going to say? Oh, well, we knew this was going to happen. Floyd Mayweather was a bigger fighter, or he could outbox him, or this. It's always excuses. Full credit to you if you beat him, Floyd. And for Marquez, too, who's a true lightweight champion. Uh, it's truly incredible what Manny Pacquiao has done. You have to remember, Mike, and you mentioned the, the difference in weight. Manny Pacquiao only two years ago was a world champion at 130 pounds. So he moves up two weight classes, fights Oscar De La Hoya, and now he basically is fighting at welterweight, but fighting a guy three weight classes heavier than that. Mm. Margarito walked into the ring today at 165 pounds, 17 pounds heavier than Manny Pacquiao. So Pacquiao has to bring so much energy into the ring to keep Margarito at bay. And that's probably why he got hurt. And he got hurt badly twice in this fight. Yet, Mike, I didn't have him losing a single round. <laughs> All Manny Pacquiao, the worldwide phenomena continues. The NFL champion will be crowned later in this NFL season here at Dallas Cowboys Stadium. But there's no super brawl this year, and there wasn't one last year or the year before that, because Floyd Mayweather seems to not be willing to fight Manny Pacquiao. And as I mentioned during the last round of, uh, of the fight we just saw with Pacquiao and Margarito, sometimes a fighter, think of Sugar Ray Leonard watching Marvin Hagler, waits for his chief rival to slow down, waits for just the right moment to fight him. And as impressive as Pacquiao just looked, he got hit much more than we've seen him get hit in years. Looked much more vulnerable. Admitted after the fight that he was hurt a couple times to the head and the body. And I think if it's the case that Mayweather's waiting for the right time to fight Pacquiao, the time might be approaching. At least we should hope it's approaching. So years from now, we'll say we know Mayweather was a genius. He waited for Pacquiao to fight five bigger guys. He watched him fight a guy who was 17 pounds larger. Maybe he'll take the fight next week. We'll see. <laughs> this incredible ride that Pacquiao's taken us all on. This devastating, unbeaten streak in the heavier weight classes will come to an end. Can Tim Bradley make tonight that night? Robert Burke. Just a tremendous performance against the game in his prime. Young champion, determined to win, never stopped trying, but outclassed. To the winner by split decision. And new WBO welterweight champion of the world, the Desert Storm, Timothy.
I'll tell you. I don't think we're blind. I think Harold Letterman is the best scorer alive. And I think that is a terrible, bogus decision. Fucking homework got ripped off. That's bullshit. You want every round. It was a big fight. I have never been more shocked and, and in this case saddened by the outcome of a sports event than I was by that one. I'm talking about the miracle on ice, Kirk Gibson, Dwight Clark's catch. Those were all positive outcomes, shockingly positive. In this case, so shockingly negative because Stephen A, I tweeted round by round. I had it 11 to 1 Pacquiao. I had it 119 to 109 Pacquiao. I knew that Pacquiao had landed almost 100 more punches than Timothy Bradley had. I, I gave him high marks, Timothy Bradley, for taking those punches and hanging in there and coming back for more. And now we hear that both of his feet or legs were hurt. That's just all the more reason to wonder how in the world did those judges score the fight the way they scored it. And Bob Arum said after the fight, he went into the ring and Timothy Bradley said to him, Bob, I gave it my all. I just couldn't beat the guy. So was it a setup? Because they immediately talked about the November 10th rematch. It's just hard for me to believe that it was a setup. I'm not jealous of them because shit, look how I'm living. I don't want to live in the Philippines. It's fucked up over there. And that's not what I represent. Am I chasing Manny Pacquiao? Fuck Gucci out. I've never known a man to turn down a $25 million drug test. Go to the next business at hand. <laughs> Manny Pacquiao take the blood and the urine test, we can make the fight happen for all the fans. And if he doesn't, we don't got no fight. I haven't heard it in from your voice as of yet. Why did that fight fall apart? I think there is a lot of, um, you know, Floyd uh, reason. That's why the fight is canceled. And mm, what I believe is uh, Floyd, he, he doesn't want the fight. Manny, there was a lot of negotiation with the type of blood testing that would be for that fight. A lot of fans are wondering, why not submit to WADA-style testing? Why wouldn't you do that? I'm not uh, The only logical conclusion that we could make was that the other side couldn't produce Mayweather, and Mayweather didn't want to do the fight. How scared is Floyd Mayweather wait, of wait. fighting Manny Pacquiao? Wait, only a million? That, hey, it was your word. How, how about, can, wait, 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 can, can I go oh, to, be can I go to a gazillion trillion? Because that's how scared he is. What have I been telling you? He just verified everything I've been saying for the last six months. He's scared to death of Manny Pacquiao. And he keeps using as his dodge, as his excuse, his escape, PEDs. Manny's already said, I'll take the needle test. I'll take it close to the fight. Well, what's the problem here? And, and again, the, I'm going to use my eyes. By the way, I had LASIK surgery, so I think my eyes are actually better than yours at my age. You know I'm 2015. You're, you're probably yeah, right. Yeah, I yeah. Actually, I am 2015, too. Yeah. But go ahead. So my eyes keep telling me, wait, does, does Manny look like a steroid creation? Does he look like he could start at linebacker in the National Football League? Does he look like some mini Schwarzenegger? Well, yeah, does he well, look actually, ripped? Actually, he no, does. he does not. You see them python? You see them legs on that boy? Oh, He's not on my level. Um, the fans would love to see the fight. And of course, um, I want to go out with a bang. So let's make this fight happen. Manny Pacquiao, Bob Aaron, you guys have been ducking us for years. We tired of you guys fooling the public, fooling the critics. Before we try to make the fight happen, you guys didn't want to take random blood in your intestine. So that's why the fight didn't happen. Then I offered you 40 million. Uh, then you didn't want to make the fight happen. You lost twice. Now you're coming back uh, begging for the same money. That's not going to happen. Let's make this fight happen for the people and for the fans. Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao, May 2nd. May 2nd in Las Vegas, or if you prefer the countdown, 71 days away, whatever you prefer, it's huge. Floyd and Manny Pacquiao, this is at a Miami Heat game a few weeks ago, leading to some speculation that perhaps the fight was a little bit closer. They were together. Who knows what was said here? A lot of people thought it was about the purse split. Would Mayweather need to get more? Mayweather's legacy is on the line. He's unblemished. Pacquiao's lost two of his last fights. 
Would it happen? The fight everybody wanted to see, needed to see, preferred to see five years ago, but still, as many have called it, the fight of this generation is indeed on. As you take a look at the tail of the tape, Mayweather is slightly older, but he is perfect, and that's why so much is riding on the line for him. Pacquiao has struggled lately. Reach advantage by five inches goes to Money Mayweather, and at the end of the day, we'll see what happens. It'll actually be determined in the ring May 2nd. Number one, pound for pound, 47 wins, Pacquiao. The pride of the Philippines, the knockout. It feels like the atmosphere of those great fights in the 80s. And it's Pacquiao. What a sharp signature punch by Manny Pacquiao. Exclamation point on the fifth round. Manny Pacquiao. Oh, down goes Thurman. And let me tell you, that was just a quick punch. Uppercut again, and he puts him down again. Pacquiao floors him a third time. Pacquiao has done it. Knockout victory. I am announcing my retirement. I never thought that this day would come. As I hung up my boxing gloves, I would like to thank the whole world, especially the Filipino people, for supporting Manny Pacquiao. Thank you for changing my life. When my family was desperate, you give us hope. You give me the chance to fight our way out of poverty. Because of you, I was able to inspire people all over the world. Because of you, I have been given the courage to change more lives. I will never forget what I have done and accomplished in my life that I can't imagine. I just heard the final bell. Goodbye, boxing.